Hi, and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the Postman Code Generator, which is not a new feature, but some of the improvements are new. Let's get started. You should be using the Postman app for Mac, Windows, or Linux. For this series, I'm on Postman for Mac OS X version 7. Make sure you have a Postman account and you're logged in. A lot of the people use Postman as an HTTP client. You can build your request and inspect your response. And if you didn't quite get what you were expecting, update a parameter, add a header, or change how you format the body and try again. Once you have this request working just the way you want, go to this code link on the right and open the Generate Code Snippets modal. Postman will generate a code snippet for the request that you are building. On the left, select the programming language or framework for the app that you're working on. Let's say we're programming in Node.js and using the request library. Postman will generate code for us to copy and paste into our app. Kind of neat. Well, if you're a big Postman user, you know that's not new. What is new is up here. Click on the gear icon at the top of the modal. There's a bunch of the settings for the language that I selected that I can use to format my code snippet. Like if I'm working on a code base and my team uses a linter with rules that every indentation should be two characters instead of four, or actually we should be using spaces instead of tabs, set that up here. Go back and Postman will generate your code snippet like you want it. Different example, say you want to send someone a curl command. Select curl, hit settings, one thing to know is your terminal line break is different across operating systems. I'm on Mac, so I'll leave my line continuation character as a backslash. But if I were on a Windows machine, I would update this setting to a caret so that I won't have to manually update this character in my terminal. So if you're thinking, this is pretty neat, but I don't see my favorite programming language here, or there's a setting that you can add for this particular language, click Contribute on GitHub. The Postman Code Generators is an open source project on GitHub. You can help add that functionality. So check out the contributing guide to learn more about the development process. One last thing, this is how you can generate code snippets while you're in the Postman app. The same functionality is available in the Postman generated web documentation. If your request is saved to a collection, click the collection details flyout, view in web. Now we're looking at the private documentation for this collection generated by Postman and it's the same for public published documentation. At the top, select your language and customize your settings like in the app. And when you navigate to a particular request, you see that Postman has generated code snippets here in the web documentation too. And that's it. You can copy and paste these code snippets in the app or the web documentation. We talked about how to generate the code and customize it according to your language and language specific settings so that you can copy and paste it into your own code base and save just a little bit of time. And if you want to update the Postman code generators, contribute on our open source project on GitHub. If you like this video, click like and follow our others.